Rebecca White, and I'm here in Highland GM in Aurora, Ontario, and I'm going to show you the 2020 Traverse. So let's start off by talking about design. As you can see here, the Chevrolet Traverse does keep a lot of relevance towards other Chevrolet vehicles, such as the Equinox. Starting off, I'm just going to talk a little bit about the grille here. So this is actually a Premier, and it's got a red line package on it. So you can see here on the grill that you actually have a black ice grill. And on the grill that you get with that red line package, you're also going to get these beautiful black gloss rims with the red stripes there, which obviously are part of the red line package. Now, the really nice part about this compared to the normal Premier is that if you don't like chrome, then you can add on this appearance package to get that little more of a blackout feel. And trust me, on the white it looks great, but it also looks great on the quick silver as well. The Chevy Traverse comes standard with automatic Xenon Bifunction HID headlights, but you can also upgrade to the D-Optic LEDs that you see here. So the appearance and cues that we saw in the front lead all the way through the side of the vehicle, creating that nice athletic look. So this one line follows all the way back to the rear lights, and it sort of drags the eye line across, so very nice. The extended wheelbase that we see here also allows for better access to the rear part of the cabin. So at the back of the Traverse, now you have a little bit of styling and purpose. So here you've got these beautiful wraparound tail lights, as well as the dual integrated exhaust. But even nicer is lower in the lower piece of the bumper here, you actually have your hitch, and it's nice and covered, so if you do end up banging into something, you're only going to hit that plastic piece. So with the Traverse, you actually have three different liftgate options. You have the standard liftgate, then you have the power liftgate that's featured here, and on higher trim levels, you also have a lift gate that is both programmable, hands-free, and has logo projection technology. So what the logo projection technology does is it'll actually beam a little Chevy bow tie onto the ground. You swing your foot over the light, and then it will open or close the hatch. In the back of your Traverse, you're going to have plenty of room, even with the third seats up. And for some added storage, you've got a deep compartment here, which goes about four inches deep there for any items that you don't need to access every day, maybe like a safety kit that you just want to have in the back. Another really nice thing is that both these seats are very easy to flip down. You just do that, and it's a 60-40 split. So if you've got some extra luggage that you got to throw in the back, it's quite convenient. Now, another really nice thing is that both the front captain seats there will both flip down as well to get you a lot more space if need be. So there's a lot to point out in the interior of the Traverse. But the first thing I do want to talk about is the fact that what people love so much about SUVs is that feeling like you're not in a truck, you're not in a car, you sit a little bit higher and you have great visibility. And that's something that is so true in the Traverse. Another thing is I like the fact that everything is soft touch. And then you have these nice little stitching accents and perforated seats as well, which go nicely, obviously, with the ventilated seats and heated seats that you get in this Premier model. On top of those features, you also get a heated steering wheel and you have tri-zone climate control. The great part about the tri-zone climate control is, one, you obviously can have different climates between the passenger driver and the rear occupants, but also the fact that when you use your adaptive remote start system, it'll actually change the temperature within the vehicle based on what the outside temperature is. So on a hot day, you're going to have it cooling at the inside of your vehicle, and on a cold day, it'll heat up your vehicle. There's also some really cool technology actually built into the front of the vehicle here. So one of the things I want to point out to start off is the rear view camera mirror. So as you can see here, you've just got a standard rear view mirror. When you flick this here, it'll actually give you a live stream to the back. The advantage of that is if you've got tall people sitting in the third row or something blocking the rear window, then you're still going to be able to see behind your vehicle. It's really awesome. Going lower, you've got a beautiful 8-inch infotainment system here, which is Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatible. And you can attach two Bluetooth devices at the same time, which is pretty awesome. But even better, it acts as a secret compartment. So if you want to have little goodies stored in here, you can actually put things in here and there's a valet mode. So when you put it back down, you can actually lock that and no one can actually get into it until you put in your special code. Pretty cool. Going a little bit lower, you actually have a really nice wireless charging pad down here. The advantage of this charging pad versus some of the older ones that you'll see in other vehicles is the fact that fit almost all phones, including plus size phones, simply because the design is just meant to sort of just have your phone placed on it. So quite convenient. 
So, before I get too out of myself, let's stop and talk about the all-wheel drive system. Now, this system does have a front disconnect to the rear drive line, which can give you great fuel efficiency in two-wheel drive. The four-wheel drive will be your bad weather mode. The off-road mode, which you can see with the little mountains there, will give you virtually 50-50 power to the front and rear wheels, and then the towing mode will then send more power to the rear wheels and change the shift patterns of your transmission for better towing capabilities. So. Comfort actually falls from the front seats into the rear seats, so there's no lack of luxury here. These two captain seats are also available in lower trim levels as a 40-60 split if you do need the extra occupancy. Really nice thing also about these seats is they're very comfy for long trips. You can actually adjust the backs here just so that you can get that perfect angle and maybe even look through your personalized little sunroof here. Another really nice thing is the fact that you actually have your tri-zone climate control access here, as well as your heated seats here as well. Below that, there's actually a 120 volt charger there as well. So great for just using normal outlets if you've got a charger laptop or something like that. And then beside that, you've got two USB chargers. So there's also this really cool feature in the second row. I just want to drag some attention to it. And what it is, is our slide and tilt seat. And this is great for parents with young kids or pretty much anyone because it gives you easy access to the third row. But a really nice little advantage is the fact that you can actually put a forward-facing child seat in the seat and still move it forward. So it's as easy as just grabbing this and slides forward. And then when everyone's gotten in the back seat, you just slide it back that easy. Even in the third row, you're still gonna get some comfortable seats back here. Even though they're not gonna adjust the same way as the second row does, there's still a great amount of cushioning as well as you've got some cup holders back here as well as USB chargers back here so you don't have to have those long cords all the way down the center aisle. So overall, a lot of comfort in the back seats. So let's talk a little bit about performance. So with the Traverse, you have one engine option. Makes it pretty simple, right? So that engine option is our 3.6 liter V6 engine. Very reliable, very powerful, and quick to that power. So this puts at about 310 horsepower and 266 foot-pounds of torque and it can tow up to 5,000 pounds with the right equipment. So the Traverse obviously being a people mover and a family hauler, safety was first in mind. So other than its shape and the nice crumple zones that it does have, the goal is to keep you out of a collision. So I would point you towards our forward-facing camera. The forward-facing camera works with a lot of our safety technology, such as our lane keep assist, and our forward collision warning and alert system with a slow speed active braking. Now, both of those systems also work with your safety alert seat. The nice part about your safety alert seat is it will actually give you a vibration based on where there is potential danger. So now you'll have an audio, visual, and physical alert. So one of my favorite parts about the Traverse is some of the technology that was designed into it, such as the HD surround vision cameras. So you actually have one camera at the front, one camera at the back, and two cameras at the side. What they do is they make a whole image together for a surround vision shot. And you actually have multiple different selections of shots that you can look at. We'll explore those. So here's what you see in your cabin on your 8 inch screen while you're in reverse or using your surround vision camera system. So as you can see here you have multiple different views, either just side shots, front, rear, or even a hitch view. All that help you navigate through parking lots or hitch up trailers or do whatever you need to do. So that's it for our 2020 Traverse. If you have any questions please don't hesitate to comment below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and thank you again for watching.